Hi everyone, in this WeBank technical insight video, we're going to talk about the design of the rear roller. On the WeBank legacy range, today we use the same design on both the 48cm and the 56cm roller. The only difference would be on the 56cm roller, as you see here, it's a little bit wider. On the 48cm, the two roller halves are a little bit smaller. That leads me on nicely to the design of the roller. In the WeBank range, we opt for using a split rear roller. Now, you'll, on other manufacturers, you'll notice there's usually two different types. One option is a solid steel bar going for the complete length of the machine, and the second is the split roller that we use. When I pick the roller up, you'll see the advantage you have of the split roller is the central ratchet acts like a differential. So effectively, when you get to the end of the line and turn, it allows one side to turn much easier, so it makes maneuverability a lot simpler. Another thing to consider on a rear roller is also the design of the roller. When you look at it from a side-on profile, you'll notice the size of the roller. Now, some brands use a much smaller diameter roller, which makes it easier to fit on the back of the machine, because if you imagine, the smaller diameter of the roller means the less height or the less amount the grass has to travel from the cut area up and over into the grass bag. However, it's always a compromise. You need a decent sized roller to be able to actually transfer the weight and also give a nice stripe finish on the lawn. And we feel with the 127 mm diameter on the WeBang roller and the design of the deck in tandem, you get a great stripe finish and you get a great collection. When you look at this roller here, this is a roller that's been used for hundreds, if not thousands of hours on one of our WeBang test units. You can see it's a little bit worn, the paint finishes came off, but typically it's pretty much 100% intact. To give you an idea of the strength of the roller, here I've got an engineering hammer. Now this is an extreme test, but it's trying to give you an idea of the lumps and bumps that the roller can take. Think for example if you're going down a ramp or a set of steps or a curb and the roller does take a drop. If you buy a WeBang Legacy roller, you can be sure that pretty much no matter what you do to it, the actual roller will stay intact, it won't get damaged too much. <laughs> or any lumps and bumps in it from a bit of extensive use. Now <clears throat> I'm going to move on to talk about the drive on the roller. This is something that makes the WeBang product very unique. When we look at the design of the roller, the principle and the idea has always been the same. It's to make something that lasts the um, lifetime of the machine and most importantly in between service intervals. The legacy range comes with a three-year commercial warranty, subject to annual service. Now, the thing to remember is the machine has to be designed in such a way that effectively you can buy it, run it for a year, and you can almost use it every day without the worry of it breaking down or it going wrong. Then have it serviced in a year's time, the dealer does the complete service on it, and you know that when you pay the fair price for the service, that you're getting the machine back and you can rely on it every day for the next year to earn your income. In my hand here, I've got the traditional, what you would call bicycle sprocket. Again, anyone that's looked at a push bike or a, before, they'll recognize the design. On most roller mowers in the market, up until we came along, this was what was used. It was an off the shelf, simple method. Actually, on our first ever roller mower, this is what we also used. However, after years of test and development, we made our wee bang professional rear roller ratchet. And when I hold the two of them side by side, I think you can quite quickly see the difference in quality and strength in the WeBank product compared to the off-the-shelf option. So what have you got here? You've effectively got a professional ratchet. The idea came from what we use on the four-wheeled lawnmower. And you've got a left and a right-hand ratchet, ratchet, which fits nice and snugly into the end of the roller. So you'll see here, you've got multiple points of contact, so a nice solid grip and you can see it effectively allows the, rope, the shaft to get lots of contact with the roller and to transfer the power. <clears throat> the other thing that we came up against, and it's probably one of the disadvantages of any machine that has a split in the roller, is if you have a split in the roller, you are effectively allowing a space for dirt, grass and water to get into the machine. Our solution to overcome that is our roller protection system. So if I pull the roller apart, you'll see here that we have a rubber, a rubber bung piece. So the rollers actually have a plastic insert, a plastic rubber section that sits in between, and effectively, you almost end up with a vacuum seal, like on a plumbing or a pipe fitting, where it allows the two halves to be pushed together, and you've got the plastic and the pressure of the roller being pushed together, trying to 
stop and reduce for the dirt and debris to get in. One tip I would give you though is, if you're cleaning your roller more, please try and keep a pressure washer away from this section here, or actually away from any bearing. No matter how good the protection system is, high pressure washers can penetrate and get water in almost anywhere. So even if you think you're being very gentle with it, you'd be surprised how powerful the pressure washer would be to get in there and to effectively you'd have a lot of water just sitting and in many cases unable to escape and just doing damage to the roller. So top tip, be careful what you're pressure washing. It might be easier just to use a hose or brush this down by hand. Another little bit of protection we've got on the machine is also our <clears throat> um, bearings on the side of the machine. You can see here that they're actually stainless steel in design, so we make our own bearing. We also put a little protection cap. Like I was saying there about the water getting into the middle of the ratchet, we put a protection cap on cover, sorry, because we found that over time, dirt and debris and mud was actually getting at the side of the bearing and was pushing into it. This little stainless steel cover helps to prevent the wear on the bearing and should allow you to get at least a season out of it before it goes back to your for your annual service. And again, we have the little rubber cap that goes on, which gives a bit of added protection. So it means we have one of these on each side. So it means when the roller is sitting inside the rear roller frame, it's nice and supported. So that's a little overview of the um, Weebang rear roller. You can see it's extremely strong. Even the most important component, the ratchet in the middle, has been ext extremely beefed up. And we've tried to do everything we can to give you, the professional user, a rear roller more that you can buy, use um, for the whole season in between services and be happy and be ensure, ensure the reliability of the product. Thanks for watching.